How can I statistically display the survey results in Lime Survey? For example, here with tables and also with diagrams. I show this in this video using an example in Lime Survey 6, the latest version of Lime Survey. Hi, my name is Paul Borsdorf. I am an authorized Lime Survey partner and I am happy to support you in your work with Lime Survey. Okay, the first step here is to go to the survey setting and then you can scroll down here on the left side to the item statistics. There are now two options there. You can make all kinds of settings here or start with the simple mode here. I'll click on it, then you'll see what the easy mode looks like. You simply get a simple bar chart for all the questions you have in the survey, which tells you how often the individual answer options were chosen. What is still missing here are answers to open questions and also tables, percentages and so on and so forth. For this purpose, there is the so-called expert mode. Here we are again in the area we were just in and there are a few settings that I would like to briefly introduce now. Afterwards, I will show what the statistics look like based on this. The first step here is to say whether you want to consider all the answers, or perhaps only the complete ones or only the incomplete ones. I'll stick to all the answers here and you can set the output format. So you can either display it as an HTML file, i.e. simply here on the website. You can have it output as a PDF file or as an Excel file. Then there are further setting options here. First of all, you can say here whether you can select all questions. Alternatively, you can also select individual questions at the bottom. I say yes, select all questions. Then it is asked whether you would also like to have statistics graphs, i.e. diagrams, displayed. If you omit this, only tables are displayed. I want to see tables and charts now, so I'm turning that on. Then with the output options, there are text answers embedded. So this refers to open questions, to text questions, whether the answers to them should also be displayed in this statistics area. I say yes, I switch on. And then there is the point individual totals are based on questions shown. I'll briefly explain what is meant by that. If you now calculate a percentage value, what percentage of respondents answered a certain question with yes, for example, then you can refer to this to all respondents who took part in the survey in total, or you can only refer to the people to whom this question was shown. Some people don't see questions because, for example, they don't see the question at all due to certain filters, i.e. conditions, or because, for example, they have already abandoned the survey beforehand, i.e. they didn't get to the question at all. Usually, one would actually like to relate the percentage calculation to those who have seen the question. That's why I'm turning this on as well. Then you can select the graph type here, either you leave the default setting, so you can already specify it in the question settings, or you can override it here so to speak, by saying, no matter what is specified in the question settings, I always want a bar chart regardless of it. Number of columns, i.e. how the whole thing should be divided in the display, I leave the default setting and then you can also say, graphic labeling, whether it should be labeled with the question codes, something like Q1, Q2 and so on or question text or both. So, before we look at the whole thing, finally the note, there is also the possibility to filter. So if you can say from a certain response ID, for example from 1 to 10, then these will only be the first 10 cases. Okay, and then there are the response filters. With this you can then also click again for certain questions and answers, for example here. I do not want to refer to all questions now, but only to this question here. And you can also set filters in the sense that you say, okay, please let's only apply the statistics to all people who answered one in the first question. Then a filter is practically placed on it and then the statistics are only displayed for the respondents who meet these conditions that they answered the question here with one. If you want to see another example of this, feel free to watch my video on the topic of answer filters in statistics. I also link this at the bottom of the video description. Okay, but now let's take a look at what the whole thing looks like. So when you have made all the settings the way you want them to be, click on show statistics and then the whole thing is displayed as follows. So for the questions you have selected, or I had said yes, you get all the questions, first of all a summary as a table and then below as a diagram. So much for a small introduction to the statistics section in Lime Survey. I have created another video for exporting statistics. I also linked it at the bottom of the video description. If you need further support, please feel free to contact me. My website is linked below.